Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a little update on the um, VLC media player security flaw. A lot of you have been asking questions since I posted the video on Saturday about uh, VLC. So I uh, will answer all of the questions in this video. If you ask the question it should be answered here. So the, to just add again to uh, the information VLC media player which is one of the most popular media players for not just Windows for devices it's got three more than three billion downloads and you can install it on, on pretty much everything uh, from Windows to Mac to Linux to Android phones it contains a major security flaw it's been discovered by a German security firm a month ago and it's still not fixed they're actually at 60% on their fix. So that is kind of a very sluggish way of working. And, you know, that's one of the things that makes me go away from VLC. They have been extremely slow at updating the player. And that makes me think, you know what? Um, Dom Pot Player should be your media player. Now, some of you have maybe a preferred player. Some of you have mentioned different multimedia uh, players that you guys use. Whatever you use is fine as long as it's updated regularly. Um, I use DomPod Player. It's updated very, very regularly. I mean, they have updates almost every month, which can tends to tell me that it's a great player because it's updated all the time. That means it probably um, is safe most of the time. A lot of the updates are actually security updates. So uh, DomPod Player is nice because it is uh, maintain it is updated and maintained secure for the rest VLC media player so the way that you can get infected is simply by playing a media file that's infected so how is it done well bad guys will take a video file or an audio file and will change it in order to use that security flaw in VLC and inject code and they take control of your PC they do what they want starting from there. They can inject malware, ransomware, and so on. So that means if you have a malformed or video that somebody sends you, for example, that might have a modifi modified code, you can be infected. So my recommendation is to stop using VLC player altogether. Just stop using it. And install DomPod player or use another player that you like. But stop using VLC for now. It doesn't mean you will never use VLC again. It just means that for now, it's not a good idea. And eventually, they'll have that fix. It's going to update, and you'll be okay. For the rest, um, some of you said, well, why not? Do you have to uninstall it? Well, VLC, as long as it's not playing a media file, is not dangerous. That means it's installed, but it's not being used. You cannot get infected with that. So there's no need to necessarily uninstall it. But frankly, um, because of the security, um, really bad security flaw, and the fact that, you know, by default or, or by accident, you might be using it, I almost would recommend you to uninstall it from your devices and wait until the fix is done. Now, when will it be done? We don't know. But one thing for sure is I'll post a video to let you guys know when it is. I will be keeping an eye on VLC update. And when that update is launched, I will let you guys know about it. Um, of course, moving away from a software means you might never come back also. Because if you use DomPod Player, you might find that it's actually a, a better player. Or, you know, I like... DomPod player much better than VLC that I tend to find kind of an old interface and you know kind of an old software and the fact that they're very slow at actually reacting is not making me want to use VLC much more in the future honestly so DomPod player is probably the best uh, choice and uh, of course or whatever you have on your PC it affects your Android phone it doesn't affect that much if you use uh, VLC on a iPhone. Now, it's more limited on an iPhone because of the nature of how iPhones actually lock down the system. So it's not that it's zero chances. 
and I would probably still not want to use it even on an iPhone or iPad but chances are lower there because of the lockdown system on Android it's more dangerous because Android is an open system your um, you know code going in there can do what they want with your phone so I would probably think of something else to use on uh, Android um, for a uh, multimedia player uh, rather than uh, using VLC as for the rest uh, so what version is affected all versions that flaw affects all the versions that exist of VLC up to the latest version that is right now uh, 3.0 point something I don't remember the exact version we are at on VLC but um, it's it's affecting everything so the people that are most at risk are the ones that actually download videos from everywhere on the internet regularly or stream a lot of stuff from the internet and that stream uses VLC media player to actually um, you know display the video or the audio well if you do that regularly or on a daily basis or every week you're probably the ones that are most at risk because that's where the possibility of having a malformed video or audio file is highest but whatever uh, you do I, I certainly think VLC should be um, you know my recommendation would be to even uninstall it and you know you'll install it back someday if you need uh, and, and use another solution for now so that's the update and the answers to your questions if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching